Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to crush my model ass. Or at least part of it, not the whole car. But we have long tradition on Tesla quality testing here in Finland. If you want to see proper full review of model S and its uh, properties against dynamite, there is <laughs> video beyond the press channel about that. But today we are going to crush these. This is like, this is lower control arm, I think is technical, technical definition of this part. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. We hardly know what these we are in fin Finnish. Yeah. So we are not car mechanics, but we are professional Tesla quality testers because we get paid to do this. Mm. And to have some comparisons, we have Audi A6 and Range Rover, lower control arm. And then this, this is the cheap, cheapest control arm that we could find from local premium hardware store Pildema. And then we have some other parts for shit and giggles. So it's going to be an exciting video. I think we are going to start with the Tesla control arm. Okay, how many tons? I'm going to say five. I'll say seven. Okay, here it goes. Okay, it's really slow. It's going. Going. It's like one millimeter bent. No, nyt menee. Okay. That was maybe seven. I heard snap. I think we have to use the USB stick to get the like more accurate yeah. results. The resolution on this ain't, yeah. ain't cool enough. We are going to throw second one in so we get better result. Okay, now we are going to use the internal data locking on the press to get more resolution. And same setup. This is the other side, also from my own car. It showed 11 and a half tons yeah. here. I I also say that if you hear like sound like that when you are driving, you would definitely notice that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was quite loud. Yeah. I think the Audi is maybe, I would say like probably 400 kilos or half a ton lighter than Tesla. So, this isn't like stressed so much on the stressed so much on the driving, but I still say even if you consider the mass of the car, I think this is like weaker. Okay, here we see is the Audi Rimbula as we say in <laughs> Finland, or is it strong part? I say like only five tons. Okay, I say seven. Oh, it's, it's on hit. five there. Let's see. I think it's like it's a bit odd shape to be crushed. Ah, yeah. I go place it again. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I say it, it got twisted. Yeah. It's not straight anymore. So it's like, I think it's different. It, yeah, it's definitely twisted. And I'm not sure is it because of the like different shape or is the alloy different? Mm. As you, you see here, it's oh, like yeah. it's, it's, it's like that. Definitely damaged. crooked. Yeah, it's, it's gone. But it was only like five tons, oh, okay. I think. Yeah, I, that's what I so see So if you want a quality vehicle in terms of the lower control arm, it's not the like the whole, whole car. But at least this part, I say that it was better on Tesla. But then we have serious, seriously like heavy duty part. Ooh, yeah, because it's these heavy. are aluminium. And this is, this is gas steel. And it's a Land Rover. It's not the most reliable brand, but let's see how like tough are the lower control arms. 
Okay, for the cash deal, I'm going to say 20 tons. Oh, oh, oh. I'll say 22. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh, it's. <gasps> what? It's bending. Yeah. That's strange. Very funny. Look where it, it bends. What? <laughs> okay, let's let's have a look. But it was only like around 12 tons, yeah. so it wasn't any tougher than the Tesla. Oh, no. I would say that this is like almost twice as heavy as this, mm -hmm. and this was almost as strong. So alumi aluminium is the clear choice of the like quality parts. And then we have this, this magnificent thing. It's steel, not cast steel, it's like sheet metal, sheet metal as we say here. And I am not sure what this, what car is this meant to be used on. Hopefully something really small, because it looks really flimsy. I think we're going to press up up there. Okay, here it goes. Guess how many tons we are applying? <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's unrecognizable now. And at this point, I want to uh, thank autohuolto.com. We got mm. these from here, there. I serviced my own car there, and they asked, do I want to crush the parts? And I said, of course I want. Yeah. And then they made a collection of like all kinds of parts mm. for me. Name But much. now we have interesting thing going on here. We can have like competition what is the best country for like tesla parts because yeah we have here we have some parts from tesla model x and we have two generations this is made in canada and this is made in mexico mexico this looks like more complicated and higher quality than this. This has like rougher surface. This is like finer surface mm -hmm. finish. But which is stronger? Let's find out. Okay, here it goes. This is not science. This is just for shit and giggles. But we get some numbers. Okay, here it goes. Okay, it's showing zero. <laughs> 1.2. I think it's ready. Yeah. That was quite stretchy aluminium. Mm -hmm. Zero. 1.2, this was strong, stronger. It's so still 1.2. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's yeah, also yeah. ready. Is there any cracks like in that? That one there is. Hey, check out this. Yeah. Way to go, Canada. Oopsies. <laughs> oh, oh. The resolution was maybe too small, but I think here is like resolution for you. This is snapped in half and this ain't. I'm not sure what part is this, but it's from my car. And I have to say that I'm disappointed. I thought that I bought a premium car that has aluminium parts under the car. But this is like stamped steel. And that's, that looks cheap. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that this is going to do like zero tons. Yeah. Yeah, zero. Let's go faster. Oi, 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 oi. Is it going to fly? No. Oh, even, no, no even explosion or fly. Didn't even fly. Yeah. But I'm going to explore something. Yeah. It's, it's not press video without explosions. You could make now Tesla branded slingshot. 
Yeah. Yeah, but uh, as I said, we have to explode something. I think this looks slightly explosive. So I'm going to put this here. Okay, here we go. Oh. Still going up, it's slow. Oh. Oopsie. Okay. It's ready. I think we have to just pancake one controller, like the mm. controller. Yeah. Let's let's pancake let's one. Pancake. Okay. One two hundred. I think it's not going to explode. Yeah, it's there. But I think it's something happened. Yeah. These are quite tough. That was like almost 300 tons. Let's see, is it like... Hey! I have to say that this is quite strong. Yeah, but uh, not strong enough for dynamite. So if you wanna see proper Tesla mayhem, go check out this video here. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.